Horace Mann was the father of American public education, and I think he would be proud to know that a company is named after him, but more importantly to know that that company was focused on educators and really made sure that those educators are recognized and acknowledged uh, in the way they richly deserve, but don't often get to experience. Our company is dedicated to serving the educator market, and one of our basic principles is the belief that educators are taking care of our children's future and we need to take care of theirs. Horace Mann's support of the NEA Foundation's Awards for Teaching Excellence is a natural fit. I can't think of a better way for a company that was founded by educators, for educators, to give back to a most deserving group of professionals. Welcome to Blockdale Elementary, home of the Bulldogs. Our movie is about Miss Gorge and how she impacts our school. Come and see all the great things she has done. Hi, welcome to Mrs. Gorge's sixth grade class. I love Mrs. Gorge because she is funny, explains creatively, and is nice to everyone. Mrs. Gorge is a great teacher because she breaks things down and makes it fun, exciting, and easy to learn. She knows each of us and how we work things out. If I could describe Karen, I would use the words energetic, enthusiastic, dedicated, boundless energy, just like the little engine that could. Well, Karen is the little engine that does. Now remember, Hunter, I have been teaching 23 years. I'm only 20. I'm going to teach negative numbers here. So you do the math. How would you describe Mrs. Gorge's personality? I think she has got a lot of enthusiasm, and I think that draws the kids in. She's really good with words, and if you need help with a word, it's a really good chance that she's going to know what it is and be able to help you with it. How do you like doing Oh My Word with Mrs. Gorge's class? Oh. My. Word. Woo! I love going in there. What we had to do is we would all bring a piece of bread and we coughed on it put some water in the bag, sealed it, and left it here on the wall for a few days to see what kind of mold would grow on the bread. The thing I remember most is Mrs. Gorange made it very clear to us that service learning is a very important part of our community. For service learning, my class did money for Malachi. She dedicated the Redwood Tree for 9-11 and all the kids who lost their parents. It's not just about those children in her classroom, it's about those families and the community around her. She's an amazing, amazing teacher. Can't you tell Mrs. Gorange is great? Woo! Brilliant, super amazing teacher. Well, I'm a wonderful teacher. And how an excellent teacher she, she is. Great teacher. My wonderful teacher. She is the wonderful teacher. Miss McNeil. Miss McNeil. Miss McNeil. Miss McNeil. Miss McNeil. McNeil. You don't know how amazing she is, but now I'm gonna show her classroom. Come on, follow me. Teresa McNeil really embodies NEA's vision of a great quality public education for every child. Teresa truly believes that every child deserves not just an adequate education, not just a good education, but an extraordinary education every year of a child's school career. And Teresa demonstrates that in her classroom by using multiple intelligences, the latest brain research, um, teaching to the diverse population of students that she serves. What got you interested in teaching your Salem students? Oh, well, I found out that there were lots of immigrant and refugee students who are coming to North Carolina, and I think that everyone needs to have a great education, no matter where they come from. Ms. McNeil um, has really been a great teacher because she knows how about 
to teach everything she knows, one thing. And then she's really involved with the community. She, she's a source of inspiration for teachers and for students too. She helps us understand a problem when we don't get it, and she even helps us with problems with our homes when we, when we need them. What we're trying to say is that Ms. McNeil is one of a kind. She is one in a million. She is very, very important to us. I'm a wonderful teacher. Her name is Miss McNeil. And I hope that all of you like our video and I hope that all you as students will be successful. So now you see why Miss McNeil, she is so important for this school. Welcome to Jefferson Junior High School, where Mrs. Steinhoff is a geometry teacher. She has been teaching here for over 20 years, and we want to show you what's so great about her. Helpful. Exciting. Outgoing. She brings it to life. She helps me individually, and she helps everyone with their problems and makes it easier to understand. I know that my colleagues share this with me, both in my school, in my district, in my state. We're a team, we work together, we learn from each other. So I'm so excited about this, not only for myself, but for my colleagues as well. The fact that she is always positive, she has a great sense of humor. Uh, Kathy will not let you bring a problem to her unless you're willing to sit down and problem solve with her. Her sense of humor gets her through some tough situations as well as gets those around her through those tough situations. Um, she's a team member, but she's also a recognized leader in her building and in her district. Mrs. Steinhoff was usually the first one to try something new in the computer labs with new technology. She was the first one that I know of at the school that uh, really jumped on board podcasting. Uh, she's a very innovative teacher. Ms. Steinhoff really cares about the students. She even takes out time to podcast some of the harder problems online. What makes Mrs. Steinhoff a good teacher? She's a good teacher because when we don't understand a problem or something on the test, that she will go over it until we understand it and then she'll record it and put it on the internet to where we can look at it when we get home. I think it's really important to incorporate technology into the classroom. The students that I have today are going to be using technology in their future that I can only dream about existing. And so every time I introduce them to something new, I know I'm helping them learn skills that they can apply later. Not only that, it makes the lessons more interesting, more innovative, and more current. Mrs. Steinhoff relates to her students because she doesn't just come to school and goes to work just to get paid. She comes to school because she enjoys helping her students learn and grow throughout the year. Dedicated. Friend. Unique. Professor. at Twinfield Union School and here we have a very special teacher that we'd like to introduce you to. What is your favorite part about teaching? My favorite part of teaching is working with my students. Terry works with uh, a variety of age groups. Although she's a high school teacher, she has a lot of lessons and units that work with other students in her small K-12 school. I think she spends more personal one-on-one -on -one time with her students and tries to figure out better learning techniques for the specific person. Like she was talking to me about how I'm a visual learner and she taught me some really good note-taking skills and it was very helpful. If you need any help, you can just go to her and she'll stay after school, she'll make time to go and help you with any work you have, even if it's not English. 
I like how Miss Vest is really organized and how she's really kind of like chop chop and knows what she's doing and has a really clear lesson plan and she's very she's very helpful and she incorporates individual time with students and teachers to really like focus on them and figure out what they need to do and how to help them and how to make them succeed. I like teaching at Twinfield because it's a pre-K-12 school and it's small and I can really get to know my students. I have seen Terry be an extraordinary support person for students, whether it's a student who needs help in Shakespeare or U.S. history or English uh, literature, whatever it is that she's doing, it's the student's interest that comes first and that's very important to me as a principal. I really love teaching because it's an opportunity to connect my students to a new world. When you learn a language, you learn a culture. You enter into a magic door of a whole new experience that you never would have dreamed of. When I teach, I look for that connection. I like that she always gets the class involved. She's very immersive with her teaching and she's very, she's very good at what she does. She is very passionate about getting the class to speak Spanish. Marianne understands that the best way to get her students involved in the language is to take them out of the classroom. She has arranged 26 trips abroad for her students and her colleagues to increase language and cross-cultural skills. By traveling to China, I'm going to increase my cultural competence and show my students that the world can be just a little bit smaller. I hope to inspire them to make similar trips in the future so that they can understand that we're really all connected on the planet. She not only makes me think outside of the box, she makes me think outside of the country. There's always so much energy in my Astros room. And when you leave her class, the Spanish doesn't stop. Like, she'll come into you in the hallways and have a full conversation with Spanish with you. The Maestro organizes this um, a conference in the spring called Teens Talk About Racism. Club, she's really all about tolerance and breaking down these walls and getting us all to really just showcase who we are. So we do a lot of really great things to broaden everyone's experience of the world around them. The way that she teaches is much different than any other teacher that I've had. Like, going to Spanish class isn't just going to another class. It's it's an experience. It's not just a textbook, it's not just a reading, it's actual immersion, which is refreshing. To be a teacher, you really have to love kids. They're very real. I get an opportunity as a teacher to be involved in what I think is a really sacred relationship with students. They're in a moment in their timeline when they're open to everything, and it's really up to me to create the connections in them to help them understand what it is that they might want to do. She knows we all have different attitudes in learning, so she focuses on our individual strengths during teaching. She's very approachable, and she maintains a positive attitude. Atmosphere, so you're not afraid to make a mistake. <laughs>